Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and a friend of mine is trying to blend this together. And I've got my blend docker open, and if I select both of them, it doesn't allow me to blend them. They're, it's all grayed out. So we evidently he is blending with this blend tool, which sometimes acts differently. And this is what he's getting when he goes from here to here. Well, let's go from here to here. And it grows progressively smaller. And let's just look here. Um, 20 blends. Let's change this to 200. And this is what he's getting. They just keep progressively getting smaller. And I've tried to figure out that's a color. It's an RGB color, but it also has got this number here. So this is what I would do. Let's get these two things out of the way. And see, it's kind of showing something right there. Let's back up a couple steps, make sure we don't have anything connected. And let's move them out of the way. And what I would do, two ways you could do this make you a rectangle and, and just for instance I would make my colors larger and I'm going to make them the same size I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of that box and move it down and then I'm just going to move those colors in and you can do it two ways you could do it with the eyedropper color dropper and when you get on that color and then fill in there go back to your pick tool get your eyedropper get that color and fill it in there. Then what I would do and see automatically it allows me to blend. I would get, I would right click my outline and let's blend it 200 times. And there you go. I do not know why this doesn't work. Let's back up here. I've got the same color. So Mike, I don't know what you did to this uh, prehand. But, and so, especially if you're going to work on something this large, I would make my colors that large, you know, if you're going to do it from here to here. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.